Hi. How are you? Get a hope. This is my second period of the day, but hey, here goes. I had a nightmare when I was a child, several, several times. And I've never told my kids, so I thought it'd be really good to tell them today. No, no telling when you might leave this earth. So I wanted to leave them my own warning that I was warned with as a child, and it was my nightmare. At the time when they came out with uh, nuclear weapons, but when they first came out, they were called atomic bombs. So they didn't say much about nuclear stuff until they created the big one. And then all the warnings about how dangerous it was came out. Nowadays, they say it's, oh, so clean, so safe. As long as they're making money off of it and it's going into our land, our air, our water. It's okay. You'll get used to it. I don't think so. No, you can overdose on anything, including drinking water. So don't drink too much at a time. There is a book that reminded me of my nightmare. Oh, hard to do. Bamboozled. How the U.S. government misled itself and its people into believing they could survive a nuclear attack. By Susan Roy. And here's a little picture. That's explosion hole into a house where you see them going on in there. Or built underground. And, uh, uh, an underground place to go after that is not going to help you because you're going to have to come out sooner or later. And it's going to be thousands of years or hundreds, two thousands of years for all that poison to go away. It can pretty much make us into a piece of toast at, at so high a level of it. And <clears throat> we may have less time than you think. Imagine that. And a map. Wouldn't that be horrible? Oh, just about all those people has this kind of stuff nowadays. And even for a while, the Catholics did a good thing. And uh, they had, uh, like a priest and a nun, that was protesting all this nuclear bombs and things they were making. But now they're selling it off in little chunks. To make war. It's the only way they're getting rid of the poison out of here. But oh, they want to make some more. And call them nuclear reactors. <clears throat> That'll make it easy for the terrorists to come in and destroy us all on it. This is kind of the way it makes me feel. Kind of like a Halloween story, isn't it? Now, in my, my nightmare when I was little, and I remember three or four times that I had that nightmare. Oh, it was awful. I was running up and down the street. I lived in a country, in the country, and I dreamed I was into town somewhere and running up and down the streets with one of these following above me, waiting to catch me and bomb me. Oh, no. There it is. See? Like that. And here is the other one. Yeah, it looked more like that, actually. How would you like them? Well, they have them now. They're called drones, and they can pack them with a little nuclear bomb and kill it kill somebody well i guess they're just shooting them right now but uh won't be long will it before they make that here's what they said would help protect you from it huh i've had too many people lie to me all my life i know better than when to fall for a lie here's what it looked like on a big one
Kind of scary, isn't it? Yeah, it's close to Halloween, too. This tells a lot of things in here. The scientists warned of world suicide. Radioactive dust of one H-bomb could prove enough to kill everyone. Is expert's opinion. Ah, but they don't want to stick with that one anymore. No, believe it. See, there's too many of us. They want to get rid of us. And what if? Speaking of the sky people, there are good ones and there are evil ones. Could the evil ones be working with people like this to influence them to make money and to become the only people left on this earth where they killed the rest of us? Yes, I am thinking of these things, too, connected with the extraterrestrials. They are really far advanced, but I think the good ones is more advanced than the evil. And, if they have God's backing, they are a lot, lot stronger. Oh, and they even smuggle that stuff around. Oh, but the doors are open. They'll just give you some radiation x-rays when you get on the plane. Oh, but if you just try to cross a river, swim, or whatever, you can carry it in a plastic bag. There's even lots of writing. Real and fiction. Can you imagine? Invasion USA? Hmm, that gives me more ideas, does it you? I don't think it was talking about Homo sapiens. Some of these extraterrestrials, they say, look like some kind of bugs. Could it be? Could good people have been given clues from the good ones? I mean, really? Yeah. Sure gave me a reason to pray, too. They talked about it on TV. The old black and white TV that we used to have. And they sold so many shelters and things. Oh, there's so much. This uh, is a big book, but it's got simple dynamite-packed info on our history with this. How to build a family foxhole. What a joke. Well, if they're building the rich man some underground shelters, then absolutely it's going to be able to hold him there for thousands of years before he can come out again. They built, built little shacks for him in their house, little lean-tos. Yeah, I like that. That's a joke. At least they made some money off of it, huh? I, I can't understand why they're still trying to lie. The Republicans and the businessmen are lying like dogs. This is crazy. And it's got some really interesting pictures in here. Yes, I suggest you read this. When I'd wake up from my nightmares, I wasn't crying, but... Oh my God, I felt horrible. And it took all morning to get it out of my head. Just as a child. And they wonder, 
how this will go. You can protect yourself from radioactive fallout. Get the facts, Jack. So I suggest we have more conversations about it. <clears throat> Don't let them shut you up by saying, oh, it's okay. It'll be all right. They've been doing that kind of stuff for God knows how long. As long as I've been alive. They started when I was little. They even give them ways to build their own. But that's when a lot of the old people were here. People that might have been some of your relatives, some of your wife's relatives, certain races. Imagine that. And you can even run into a hole in the ground. Uh-huh. Yeah, all right. But all I got when I was little was just hearing about the bombs exploding. And it was bad. But I'm making this video for my kids. <clears throat> and I suggest they read this book too. And get a clue. Please do. If you want to take care of your kids when you have kids. Because... This is something you cannot protect yourself from unless you prevent it from being used in the first place. And you find a place to get rid of the poison. And it's got to be done. And we got to find some other way to get around because I heard that uh, these electric people had killed some that had inventions and ideas about clean energy and things that they did not want because they would have lost money. They are bad men. And like I say, I think the evil ETs is the one that's been influencing them, giving them ideas on what to do and how to keep their hold. So, I suggest you do that. Love you, kids. And have a nice one. And all to the rest of you, too. Later.